Hello everyone, my name is Yu Chi Che. I'm from Professor Chong Wujo's group in Electrical Engineering Department. And the topic of my research project is carbon nanotube electronics. Here's the outline for my presentation. First, I will talk about the motivation of my research work, why we want to introduce carbon nanotube into the electronics application. And then I will give the details about my research projects. It includes the self-aligned T-gate device design and the application of this design in the carbon nanotube IF transistors and circuits. In the last part, I will discuss about the future work in the carbon nanotube and CMOS hybrid circuit. With the further development of the Morse stall, transistor dimension has been scaling down to the nanometer region. So because of this small dimension, there will be a lot of problems for the traditional bulk materials such as silicon and three five. So people, people have put a lot of efforts in looking for the new material to substitute for silicon. Among all this new material, carbon nanotube has attracted a lot of attention. So we wondered that whether we can use carbon nanotube for beyond silicon electronics. So what is carbon nanotube? Carbon nanotube is formed by rolling up a single carbon atoms along a certain carrier angle directions. Due to the different carrier factors, carbon nanotube can be either metallic or semiconducting. And when we discuss about the carbon nanotube in the transistor application, we usually talk about the semiconducting carbon nanotube in the channel material. Due to this kind of unique material structure, the carrier in carbon nanotube can achieve ballistic transport. So as a result, mobility and conductivity of carbon nanotube are extremely high. These two factors are very important for the fast speed electronics. Moreover, due to the one-dimensional structure, carbon nanotube transistor can usually offer a very small intrinsic capacitor and very good linearity, and which two factors are also very important for the radio frequency electronics. As a result, with all this advantage, we believe that carbon nanotube is a promising candidate for the high-speed radio frequency electronics. During the past two decades, people have made a lot of efforts in the digital electronics and the radio frequency electronics part, and a lot of progress has also been made. And in my talk, I will focus on the radio frequency electronics application of carbon nanotubes. Previously, people usually use the parallel plate structure for the carbon nanotube IF transistor, and this kind of structure has some problems, including the misalignment, very large parasite effects, and relative low field. As a result, this kind of disadvantage hindered the further advance of carbon nanotube IF electronics. And in order, to, in order to solve the problem, we have bring up a new device platform, self-aligned T-gate design. With this kind of T-shaped structure, we can achieve a self-aligned technology and shorten the channel lines further. And also, we can reduce the parasite effects to improve the device performance. Moreover, in our experimental uh, condition, we can achieve a relative high yield up to 90%. All this advantage makes us believe that self-aligned T-gate design is a good device platform for the carbon nanotube IF electronics. So then we apply this device platform in the carbon nanotube material and we fabricate RF transistors. We have achieved a current gain cutoff frequency up to 100 GHz by using this kind of device structure. And if we compare our result with other people work from the carbon nanotube RF transistors, our performance is one of the best reported to the date. And this kind of performance is also good enough for most current using RF circuits and systems. So then we take one step forward into the radio frequency circuit application. We have successfully configured the radio frequency circuits, including the frequency doubler, mixer, and amplifier. All these carbon nanotube based RF circuits can operate with the right functionality, which is very meaningful for the practical use of carbon nanotube RF transistors. So in the future, we are very interested in combining the CMOS technology with our carbon nanotube electronics. So we can build up the hybrid circuit by using the CMOS fabricating, condition, uh, fabricating facility. In this way, we can reduce the cost of the fabrication. Moreover, we can also take advantage of the unique and high performance of carbon nanotube electronics. This will be a very hot topic in the future directions. And thank you very much for your attention.